Hello, my family. Today we're going to make chocolate coconut balls. Yummy, yummy. And I am dedicating this one to over 50 and fantabulous. Great channel. You got to check her out. This one's for you. Come join me. Okay, this is what we're going to do to start this. We're going to add one and three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. And I want them to double, double check, make sure I got it right, measured right. It's one, two, okay, that's three-fourths cup. And we're just going to use this. One, two, three, four. That's one and three fourths cup powdered sugar. Now I'm going to add one and three fourths cup coconut. And hopefully I don't eat it up because I love coconut. This is an easy recipe, and uh, there's one. I'm just using sweetened coconut. That's two. Okay, that's two. just going to be easier to, since the bag is small, one, two, whoops, I don't think my dog likes coconut, that's three, and one more, and that's one and three fourths cup. There we go. Just gonna mix that together. thinking I'm going to double this because I just have a feeling it's not going to be enough. So I'm going to add There's one and three fourths cup. And three, and that gives me a little bit of coconut for the topping. Now I'm going to get some more powdered sugar out. It's always nice to have this stuff on hand because it takes me, um, you have to warm up the car, to go to, go to town, I got to warm up the car, and it takes a uh, a good 15 20 minutes to get to town. So I keep stuff on hand. Okay, that's two. And that's three. Now I need one more cup of this. 
And I'm dedicating this recipe to to uh, Lynn on over 50 and Fantabulous. Yep, yeah, this one's dedicated to you. To check out her channel. She's pretty cool, pretty cool person. Okay, now this is so it's so easy. So easy. It just takes a while because you have to refrigerate, you know, you have to refrigerate the balls. So now we're gonna add one cup of sweetened condensed milk. And let's see. Put it in here to make sure the can says 14 ounces, but we just don't know. Could be not a little more than a cup, you know. See, it's a little more than a cup. So now we're going to add the one cup of sweetened condensed milk. this up. Now it says to use wax paper on your pan, but I don't have any of that, so I'm using parchment paper. But we're just going to get this mixed up together. And this is good exercise for the arms. Arms are moving, huh? Yeah, I tell ya. Nobody realized how hard our mothers and grandmothers and grandfathers and fathers who cooked, how hard they worked in the kitchen. Now my grandmother was always baking and cooking. There were so many people coming over to her house to eat all the time that she had to keep a running a running kitchen all the time. Yeah. And she worked at a restaurant too for a while, so but everybody went there then because they knew she was cooking. I think she worked at it was called Skelly's Cafe years and years ago. Back in the 60s and early 70s. Okay, yeah, we'll get this worked up here. Kind of feels like uh, hard play doh. And it feels like kind of makes you get all that stuff on the bottom there too. So you have to wear gloves unless you like getting sticky. I don't like to get sticky. Now this is going to be your filling. Coconut filling. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to roll them into a... I'm going to get my cookie thing here. I got my little cookie thing so that they're even. Now I'm just going to roll them into balls and just set them like that. Sure. 
fill up the stew. Boy, Christmas is not far away now, is it? Why is it that it seems like the older you get, the faster the days go and the weeks and the months? Boy, when you're kids, you couldn't wait till Christmas and it seemed like it, that took forever. Okay. The, I'm really glad I doubled the recipe. Because that wouldn't have been enough. These are going to be good. They're not all going to be the same size, but that's all right. See, this one is too small, I think. I have to make it bigger because I'm OCD. There. Now they look, they all much, pretty much look alike. Okay. I might have to, I might have to scoot them over because I'm, Yep. I'm not going to spread, so we're okay. We're okay. There we go. Well, my dog was so happy that it snowed today. We didn't get much, maybe half an inch. But she was out there laying down in the snow and licking the snow. She loves to eat the snow. So she's really happy that winter's back. But the sun came out and most of it melted anyway, but know, she's still happy. Now my, my son is my son is hoping there'll be snow on the ground at Christmas time when he comes home. He has, you know, he only gets to see snow when he comes back home. And um, my granddaughter, she's only seen just little bits of snow when it snowed in Texas. Was that last year or a couple years ago? She was really little, too. So now, a little over four years old, she would enjoy some snow. But I don't want too much snow. That makes it really hard to drive in. I don't like driving in snow. But I remember when when I had to drive uh, my 60 mile round trip to work every day. And um, most of it was like the road was just ridiculous and the, there was fields, farm fields on both sides of the highway. So the wind would just whip across and you would, um, you would just get blinded by the white snow and it would have patches of ice, you had to drive really slow and um, ran into some, had to drive through some snow squalls a couple times too. That area was bad for snow squalls. Just pure white, can't see nothing. You just put your flashers on and try to pull over to the side of the road. You can't see the side of the road, but you're hoping that you're at the side of the road. And just wait till it passes. And most of the time, I had to be to work at 7 a.m., so I had to leave like at uh, 5 30, 6, you know, a little after 6 o'clock if the roads were good, but if the roads were bad, I would have to leave at, um, you know, earlier than that because you drive so slow. And in the wintertime, it was be dark and, ugh. Okay, that was a test of my anxiety. 
But I made it. I made it through it. I survived it. Oh, I got quite a bit going. Look here. This is good. I'm just glad now I'm, I can work from home. Because I don't have to be concerned about getting out in the winter. here. That's all good. And I got I got a small one here that I could add to. How about another small one? Do you see a small one? One that doesn't match? Um, here's a small one. Let's add to this one. Now, see there? That's what we got. Now we're going to put these in the refrigerator and let them get um, set and then we'll dip them in chocolate. Okay, I still have the um, the coconut balls are in, still in the fridge, but I want them, I'll take them out in a second here. We're going to melt the chocolate chips now. Now I'm doubling the recipe, so we're going to put four cups of chocolate chips. It, um, it said for dark chocolate, which I only had one bag of that, so. So it's about okay. We're just gonna, and then I have one bag of semi sweet. So we're gonna add that to it. Well, we're making so much noise. Okay, now we're going to add four tablespoons of shortening. Now I'm going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and then stir at 30 seconds at a time. So I'm going to take, I'm just going to put this over here for a second. Now I'm going to take a ball, I'm going to put it in there, just kind of coat it around. Put it on the thing. I should have it on a rack. That's what I should have it on. A, I should have it on a rack. Here, let's put this on the rack. There we go. Now I can put that on the rack like that. This is always the fun part. Nothing better than the smell of chocolate. Oh yeah. That's the... Sorry, I don't work in a chocolate factory. I would... I would be like... Uh, remember that I Love Lucy episode where they were eating all those chocolates and stuffing them all over the place? That's what I would be doing. Definitely. This looks so good. 
Oh boy, my fish just jumped in the tank. Daddy just fed them, so. You know how fish are when they have food. They jump right out of the water. They always do that. There's one fish, the, the biggest goldfish in there. That's his baby. He calls her Cleo. That's, that's his baby girl. She's always there at the tank when he's ready to feed. And they know, 2 o'clock every day, they know. I don't know why they're, they, they've been, they were fed a long, two, over two hours ago, so I don't know why they're doing it now, but. Yeah, she's, she's always at the, she's there first. Wanting to get special treatment and special food from Daddy. And we got the other tank with the smaller ones in because the, the big fish in the big tank is from two years ago in the pond and the little tank is the ones from this past summer in the tank or in the pond and they're getting a little bit bigger and they're they're getting used to daddy feeding them too but yeah Cleo she just comes right up to the tank when he's um when he's there she comes right up to the glass to look at him that's he she's she just loves him that is fun One left, and there's chocolate left. Anybody want to get a spatula? Get a spoon, grab a spoon. Come and have some chocolate. Get, there's a little bit of chocolate left. That'll be fun. Oh, I gotta wipe this up. I gotta take this glove off here because that one's all messy. They're both very messy, but I'm going to take both of the gloves off because I want to get the, I want to sprinkle some of that. I think I waited too long. I might have to press it. coconut. Okay. It's hardening really fast because the, the balls were really cold. on it a little bit like this. That'll work. Because it's not completely hard yet. <laughs> this is fun. This is going to be good. 
I am excited because there's nothing better than chocolate and coconut together. Because they're still a little bit soft, you know. But, okay, we're going to let these sit. These are the fish I was talking about. And Cleo is right there with her mouth opening. She's that big one. See, she's coming to the tank because I'm here. Oh, and you're jealous? Hi, Cleo. Look at that. Look at her. And you're really jealous of Mama? Look at this plant here. Isn't that gorgeous how that is? Um, oh, that's really going. My living room is a shambles because we're um, remodeling. My um, Christmas cactus is still blooming since October. So are the African violets. And here are those other baby girls. I gotta clean, I gotta do their filter again. It's getting cloudy. These are from the, you're nosy, you're getting in the way, you're jealous. Hey, get out of the way. See, there they are. Those are the ones from the pond this year. Thanks for joining me today for chocolate coconut balls. Look at that. This is what they look like on the inside. Here, the light. It's very good. Coconutty. Mmm. Tastes like Mounds bars. Very yummy. Mmm. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for um. Thanks for um staying till the end. Um, I appreciate that very much so. Now I'm just, you know, watch hours. We all need watch hours, but I'm just, I just film because I really enjoy cooking and I really like to share with my friends, with you, with my family. So we we'll see you next time for something different. And remember, stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.